So in this talk, I'm going to take a slightly more complicated example of, of the principle that the meaning of the partial derivative depends on the entire coordinate system. So there's actually a previous video where I did a simpler example, which you should look at first, but this is a little complicated. So I'm going to consider a function of two variables, x and y, given like this, x squared plus x squared plus y squared. Let's call it u, and the output is u, and now I want to find out what's the partial derivative of u with respect to x. So what's that? 2x plus y. 2x plus y. Plus y. What happens? So y squared goes to 0, xy differentiates to y, x differentiates to x. So you have to differentiate with respect to x holding y constant. Now I want to rethink of this original function as a function of x and a new variable v, which I've defined as x plus y. Okay, so y is v minus x. Now I want to write u in terms of x and v. So how would I do that? So u is going to be x squared plus x by v minus x. x times v minus x plus, plus v minus x squared. V minus x whole quantity squared. Okay, so let's simplify this. X squared plus x v minus x squared plus v squared v squared minus two x v well two v x same as two x v plus x squared. So you have two positive x squares and one negative x squared. So overall you get one positive x squared, you have one positive xv and two negative xv, so you get overall one negative xv. So we've used up everything except the v square. Okay, so I could call this a new function of g, uh, g of x and v. Okay, I cannot use the same letter for the function, but I can use the same letter for the output variable. In fact, I should use the same letter for the output variable. So the function letter changed from f to g. Okay, now what is, are we down here? Yes. What is du dx, which is just g sub x of x comma v, what is that? 2x minus v. 2x, that's the derivative of x squared minus v. So you're differentiating with respect to x holding. What constant? Uh, x plus y. Constant. X plus y, that's v, holding v constant. So that's what how you got this. Now, how do you compare these two answers? Well, right now you cannot compare them because this is in terms of x and v, and this is in terms of x and y. Okay? In the previous example, which was done in a separate video, we could directly compare them because both answers were constants. But now we cannot do that. However, you can do that with a little effort. So, Rewrite v back in terms of x and y. What do you get? So 2x minus y minus, sorry, v is x plus y. Right? So what does that become? x minus y. That becomes x minus y. So now we have both our answers in terms of x and y. Are they the same? No. Nope. So we made some calculation error. Did we? Mm -hmm. Did yeah. we make a calculation error or no. is it okay? So why are they not the same? Not holding the same thing constant. Yeah, exactly. That that's that's the purpose of this video, right? So this is holding y constant. And this is holding x plus y constant. Okay. So if you if you were to do let me just quickly recap for you the the, the the picture which we use to geometrically think about it okay before i go let me just repeat this last part i said so so when we do the differentiation we got 2x plus y here and 2x minus v here but these are not directly comparable because this one's in terms of x and v this one's in terms of x and y so we need to change back the coordinates and that's why i plugged v as x plus y you hear and that's where we got. So that we need to do that to compare the answers. Let me first quickly recap how how our original explanation went. So this is a this is the xy plane. We have a point here. It's a point a possible input. If you're trying to calculate f sub x of x comma y, you're basically moving along the horizontal line and trying to figure out how it changes. And if you're trying to figure out 
this this partial derivative we are basically moving along this line where x plus y is constant and figuring out how the function changes. Okay, so far so good. Now I want to ask a question, are these equal or other where are these partial derivatives equal? For what input values is this partial and this partial the same thing? Is that always true? Is 2x plus y equal to x minus y? No. Not always. Where is it true? x equals to 2y. You did some math in your head. So where are these two partials equal? I'll just state that. So 2x plus y equals x minus y. So if, if you want these two partials to be equal, then what do you get? So you get 2x minus x. It's x equals? 2y. Oh, minus 2y. Minus 2y. Okay. Your mental math was a little off. But mm -hmm. fine. Minus 1. But that's. So what that means is x equals minus 2y. So that's going to be, there's going to be lines like, uh, so x equals minus 2y. So what's that going to be? So a little bit more tilted uh, than the x plus y. Okay, so yeah. So you it will definitely be a line through the origin. Yeah. Okay, and then for y, for x equals 1, y will be minus, wait, so, minus so is x two. is, when x is 1, it's minus, minus 2. No. Y is minus 2. X oh. is minus 2y. So, okay. or other words, you want to write y in terms of x is minus half x. Right? Yeah. So, so when x is 1, y is minus, minus half. half. So, you'll get a line. So, that means for points on this line, y is minus half x. So, it's, it's a negative sloping line through the origin. On this line, these two partials are equal, but in general, for most points, if you take a random point somewhere here or here or here, the two partials will not be equal.